Hello, Happiness Abounders, and welcome back. Today I'm excited to continue day two of our theme week all about creating habits and routines in our lives. I want to start today by talking about your current if-then habits. So what exactly do I mean by that? I can share a few examples of my own life. If I sit down in front of the TV, then I will eat. If I bring my phone into bed with me, then I will spend an hour or more on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and any other thing I can find, games, etc., to distract me from going to sleep. If I hit snooze on my alarm, then I'm likely to hit snooze an additional three times and then be running behind and setting a precedence for my day. So I want to talk about those kind of things today, identifying your current if-then habits and how they are impacting your ability to set good routines. So what does that look like? First and foremost, it does take looking at your life and going, okay, when I do something, does it tend to trigger something else, another action in my life? Now, some of you may know this story, some of you may not. If you've heard it before, bear with me. If you haven't, I hope it resonates. But for me, I found that when I would sit in front of the TV and I would watch specifically Netflix, I would eat. I would be bored and I would have to be doing something. And I, when I discovered that, and I had gained a ton of weight, and I was like, what is wrong, what is wrong? And I just felt like my life was in a pretty messy spot. And you can hear that story kind of on several podcast interviews and other podcast episodes here of this show. But essentially, I was in a rough spot, and I would just come home and I would watch TV to numb, and then I would eat to further numb. And as I gained all this weight and I started to evaluate my life, I realized that if I sit down for the TV, then I have a tendency to get lost for hours on end, and I have a tendency to eat for that entire time that I'm watching TV. And I thought it was because I was hungry, but when I cut out watching TV at night in the evenings, I didn't eat, and I wasn't really hungry. And it wasn't that I was malnourished, it wasn't that I was starving myself. It just was that I had eaten throughout the day and when I didn't go to sit down in front of TV, then I wasn't bored hungry. And in that time frame, now I had all this extra time at the end of the day because I wasn't spending it watching TV, so I was more active and everything else, but I also wasn't eating unnecessarily and just eating for the sake of eating. And I lost like 20 pounds. But I only discovered this when I discovered that I had an existing routine, an existing habit of if I sat down in front of the TV, then I would eat. The other example I use in the beginning of this episode was that if I bring my phone into bed with me, then I get lost on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and any other site that I can get to distract me, and my game of choice, which is Disney Emoji Blitz. And so I can be in bed on time, but if I take my phone with me to bed, then I don't go to sleep for an hour and a half to two hours. So what I've discovered is I have to, if I'm going to bed, then I have to put my phone over here. So the whole point of this is to identify what your current habits and routines are, if they are serving you, and what you may need to do to adjust that habit to serve you, right? So in the Netflix example, if I cut out TV, then I cut out the over and binge eating that was unnecessarily happening. I could see at the source what I needed to do. Now, I need to go to bed no matter what, but I can see that what's hindering me from going to bed early or on time and then therefore waking up on time and having a good start to the rest of my day was my phone. So I had to establish a secondary routine of, okay, I'm going to bed, Instead of bringing this with me, it goes clear on the other side of the room on the charger over there, and then I come into bed, and if I'm feeling like oh, I gotta be doing something, I'll read a book, right? So how can you identify what your current habits are, what your current routines are, those chain habits? I want to take a look at something in your life, whatever your goal is, and ask yourself if there's something that's keeping you from doing it. It don't mean something like, oh, other people and things like that, but like, if you wanna work out, and in my case, I wanted to be healthy and I wanted to work out and I wanted to lose weight. And I would come home and I'd spend six hours watching Netflix. So I identified Netflix as the original problem. My addiction to that and my inability to stop watching that. 
so I had to do the work to stop watching Netflix. But the bonus of that was I was like, oh, I'll have free time to work out. That's what I thought. But the bonus of that was it actually was connected to a chain that had me eating tons more calories than I ever would have needed in a single day and doing that for months on end every day. So it's taking a look at what might be holding you back from your goal and identifying if there's chain habits in there too that are being problematic. So that's the first thing. Take a look at something you want in your life and ask yourself what current habits and routines you have that are holding you back from moving forward in that direction. Then number two, ask yourself why. Why was I addicted to Netflix? Why was I addicted to my phone? It's because I was using it to numb. I was not using them for entertainment. I was using them because I didn't want to be emotionally aware of what I was struggling with. And so you need to come to terms with that or whatever your reasons may be. You need to come to terms with that before you can break that chain, right? Because as you break that chain habit that's not serving you, all of that stuff's going to be coming at you and you need to figure out how you're going to handle it. So why, what, and it's really interesting because it's not serving you towards your goal, but these bad, quote unquote, bad chain habits that I had weren't serving me towards my goal, but they were serving me in numbing what I didn't want to feel. So you need to identify what's holding you back and how it's serving you, good or bad, and how you need to change that and be prepared for why you're using it in service in the way you are using it and be prepared to be able to pivot and maneuver so that you can handle those things as they come up while still breaking that chain habit. And then number three, identify what the alternatives need to be. So for me, alternative is the phone over on the other side of the room on its charger. Alternative for me was coming home and not going straight to the couch and not going straight to the kitchen. I had to figure out that like, I can't go straight to the couch and sit down and relax because then the next thing you know, I'm turning on the TV, I'm putting on my favorite Netflix show and then five minutes later, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of hungry, even though I really wasn't. I'm kind of hungry. I think I'll go get some edamame and eat that and then some popcorn and just stuff I could pick at all day long. It was crazy, right? But I needed to figure out what was my kickoff for that. Because sitting down, like turning on Netflix, of course, is the normal kickoff, but going in the living room was what triggered me to do that. And I still have that today where I'll go sit in the living room and I'm like, I should watch TV. And then I'm like, what am I doing? I don't want to watch TV. And it just kicks off this thing. So you need to figure out what the like instigator is. We're going to work backwards here. What the instigator is that's triggering that chain, why that chain is serving you and it may be serving you in the way you don't want and starting with looking at that chain and how it's holding you back and the way that may be serving you in the way you don't want to be served. Is that making sense? I hope it is. I really love this concept of looking at your if then habits to determine what's holding you back, to determine how you can move forward in your life. Because so often we want to start a new habit, we want to start a new routine in our lives, but we don't look at where we're at currently and what may need to change to make that happen. It's really hard to lose weight if I'm not willing to look at the fact I'm eating tons of extra calories for dinner as I'm watching TV. But if I can cut out TV and then that takes away that boredom eating, then it's really simple, right? So quick recap, take a look at what is happening currently. What are your current if then habits and chain habits? And take a look and ask why you are doing that. And so what purpose it's serving you, whether good or bad. And then take a look at what your initial instigator is. For me, it's going into the living room, sitting on the couch. That kicks off the chain of watching Netflix and then wanting to eat. So I hope this resonates. I hope it helps. I hope that you take a look at your current if-then habits and see how they're serving you and see how you can adjust that to help you achieve your goals and really what you want in life. So that said, I hope that this episode resonates. If it does, I would love for you to rate, review, and subscribe on your listening platform of choice if it offers that opportunity. And in the meantime, take a look at your if-then habits. And remember, you are capable of happiness abound.